Welcome to the realm of hidden sanctuaries amidst the chaotic bustle of urban existence. In the midst of concrete jungles and technological leaps, it's easy to lose sight of the world as it once was, untouched by the grip of modernization. But fear not, for there exist awe-inspiring, pristine corners of our planet, cocooned away from human intervention, inhabited by indigenous tribes whose way of life remains untouched by the outside world. Today, embark on a journey to unveil 10 of these extraordinary isolated locales and the communities that call them home. At number 10, we find ourselves in the Siwa Oasis, situated in Egypt between the Katara Depression and the Great Sand Sea within the Western Desert. It is an urban oasis positioned 18 meters below sea level. It stands as one of Egypt's most isolated settlements, housing approximately 33,000 inhabitants, predominantly Berbers, who uphold their distinct culture, customs and language. Nestled near the Libyan border and enclosed by striking limestone cliffs and the vast Great Sand Sea, this renowned oasis, dubbed Amunra, is a popular tourist destination. Despite its distance, a five-hour journey from Cairo, it attracts visitors year-round. Travelers usually fly to Masa Matrua and then take a bus to reach Siwa Oasis. A highlight of the trip is the chance to swim in Cleopatra's Bath, a renowned mineral spring pool in the area. Additionally, guests can enjoy accommodations at a prominent desert eco-lodge constructed from mud and salt, offering a unique stay experience. At number nine is Omyakon, Russia. It holds the distinction of being the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Positioned amidst two primary valleys, the town is subject to bone-chilling temperatures due to the wind being trapped within its confines. A historic measurement in 1924 recorded a staggering temperature of minus 96.2 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 71.2 degrees Celsius. From September to April, daily temperatures typically hover around 22 degrees below zero Fahrenheit or minus 30 degrees Celsius, showcasing the extreme cold residents endure. Despite the harsh conditions, over 500 people call Oymyakon home, seemingly content amidst the perpetual haziness that envelops the region for 21 hours each day. With an average temperature of minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 50 degrees Celsius. Life in Oymyakon is markedly unique, with locals accustomed to consuming frozen meat, keeping their vehicles running continuously, and even igniting bonfires for several days, preceding a burial due to the difficulty of digging frozen ground. Accessing Oymyakon presents its own challenges, with Yakutsk the nearest city with an international airport, requiring a daunting 17-hour drive covering 570 miles or 917 kilometers of Siberian roads. Ranking in at number eight, located high in the Peruvian Andes, 64 kilometers north of Lake Titicaca, lies La Rinconada, the highest human settlement on the planet. The extreme elevation poses health challenges for visitors including headaches, nausea, and shortness of breath. Despite its remote location and frigid temperatures, La Rinconada is home to approximately 50,000 residents. Lacking basic amenities and infrastructure, the town relies solely on the nearby gold mine for its economy. However, the mining activity has led to significant mercury contamination, and the city lacks proper plumbing and sanitation systems resulting in poor living conditions. Due to these factors, many consider La Rinconada an undesirable place to visit, given its lack of hospitals, hotels, and minimal government presence. Accessing the town is also difficult, requiring a six-hour journey from the nearest city on unpaved roads with no regular transportation services available. Taking the seventh position in this list is Utkyagvik, Alaska, formerly known as Barrow. It stands out as a prominent isolated community in the northern reaches of Alaska, situated north of the Arctic Circle. This community heavily relies on the ocean for sustenance, given its remote location at the pinnacle of Alaska. During winter, 
Utkiagvik experiences an astonishing 65 consecutive days of darkness, with the sun setting in November and not rising again until January. Moreover, the average temperature in Utkiagvik rises above freezing for only 120 days per year, with the remainder of the time spent at or below zero degrees. Accessible solely by airplane due to the absence of roads, Utkiagvik is home to approximately 4,000 residents, known as Inupiak, which translates to the place where snowy owls are hunted. Despite the high cost of everyday items, with a weekly grocery shop tallying around $500, the average family income stands at $83,000 annually. Like many isolated communities, Utkiagvik attracts film production companies seeking its unique backdrop, having served as the setting for the Hollywood movie Big Miracle, which depicted the rescue of whales trapped beneath the sea ice. At number six, we have the island of Mijingo, situated on Lake Victoria in Africa. It spans roughly half an acre and is home to approximately 130 residents. Despite its small size, the island was at the center of a territorial dispute between Kenya and Uganda, which remains unresolved, earning it the reputation of a no-man's land. Surprisingly, Migingo Island boasts amenities such as four pubs, a pharmacy, a hair salon, and even several brothels, with houses constructed from recovered tin and scavenged materials, giving it the appearance of an iron-plated turtle emerging from Lake Victoria's waters. Access to the island is primarily by boat, with the journey from Kenya taking up to two hours, while reaching Jinja in Uganda requires an arduous 18-hour trip. While some local residents own mobile phones for limited communication, the signal is often weak. Migingo Island is essentially a fishing community marred by issues such as prostitution, contributing to ongoing political tensions between the two nations. Number five finds us on Socotra Island, located in the Gulf of Aden in Yemen. It is often described as an otherworldly destination due to its unique appearance. It is hailed as a biodiversity hotspot known as the Pearl of Biodiversity, housing a plethora of plant species that are exclusive to the island and found nowhere else on the planet. The Socotra archipelago's extended isolation, coupled with its intense warmth and dry climate, has fostered the development of extraordinary endemic vegetation, such as the iconic dragon's blood trees. In addition to its remarkable flora, Socotra offers stunning landscapes and diverse wildlife. However, the island's ecological treasures face threats due to the ongoing civil war in Yemen. Despite this, Socotra's strategic location along a crucial oil trading route and its historical significance as a hub for the production of religious ritual materials like frankincense and incense, as well as its role as a pivotal silk and spice trading center between Africa, Asia, and Saudi Arabia, underscore its importance in global history and commerce. The fourth position belongs to the Kerguelen Islands, also known as the Desolation Islands. These islands are overseas territory of France, situated over 3,300 kilometers away from the nearest permanently inhabited area of Madagascar. With no indigenous population, these islands are home to a small community of 50 to 100 French scientists, engineers and researchers, making it a prime location for a wide range of scientific studies spanning geology, biology, geography and climate. However, the harsh, cold and windy weather makes it unappealing for tourists to visit. Additionally, reaching the islands poses a significant challenge as the dedicated ship departs only four times a year, serving as the sole means of transportation to the islands. Despite the limited accessibility, the islands have never seen the need for an airport due to their small population. For those brave enough to embark on the journey, be prepared to spend approximately 13,000 pounds or roughly $17,000 for accommodation in a cabin and expect to share the space with scientists and penguins amidst freezing temperatures. Due to the limited availability and high demand, booking any trip to the Kerguelen Islands well in advance is essential. 
Number 3. Located in the South Pacific, Pitcairn Island is a remote and breathtakingly beautiful island, situated 3,000 miles away from any continent. Its picturesque green hills and deep blue waters make it a truly unique gem in the middle of the ocean. The island enjoys warm temperatures year-round, characterized by rainy summers and dry winters. Despite its natural splendor, Pitcairn Island holds the distinction of being the least densely populated British Overseas Territory, with a mere 50 residents. To put its size into perspective, Pitcairn Island is scarcely larger than Central Park in Manhattan. What makes this community particularly fascinating is their mode of communication. Residents rely on walkie-talkie radios to communicate across the island. While the United Kingdom retains significant authority over the islands, Pitcairn Island enjoys limited autonomy, including aspects such as tax collection and the election of a mayor. Tourism to the island is exceptionally limited due to its isolation and the lengthy journey required for visitors, which includes a grueling 32-hour yacht ride. Moreover, there are no public transportation services or taxis available on the island. Consequently, Pitcairn Island has become the subject of numerous films, articles, books and scientific studies, captivating the imagination of those intrigued by its remote allure. The second position is held by Villa Las Estrellas in Antarctica. Often mistaken for a location in Spain, it is actually a Chilean town and research facility situated on King George Island within the Chilean Antarctic claim. Accessible only by plane due to the absence of roads leading to the village, Villa Las Estrellas is remarkably isolated. When envisioning Antarctica, images of snow and penguin colonies likely come to mind, and indeed both are prevalent here. However, what sets this place apart is its resemblance to a typical small town, boasting houses, a bank, a post office, a gym, a church and a school accommodating dozens of students. Despite its remote location, Villa Las Estrellas surprises with amenities such as radio broadcasts, TV reception and even internet access, albeit primarily used for educational purposes within the school. With a population of around 150 individuals, dwindling to 80 in winter due to transportation challenges, the town may seem quiet. Nevertheless, tourists visit to experience snowmobile rides, skiing expeditions or hiking trips to the area's wildlife reserves and glaciers, hoping for a glimpse of the famous emperor penguins or killer whales. At number one we have Cuba PD, Australia, which stands out as one of the most intriguing isolated communities globally, offering a unique underground lifestyle unlike any other town in Australia. Dubbed an underground world, Cuba Pedi conceals a vast fortune beneath its surface, with approximately 70% of the world's opal resources lying buried in this remote area of the Australian outback. The name Cuba Pedi originates from local Aboriginal words, Cooper meaning white man, and PT meaning whole, reflecting its distinctive character. Despite its extreme climate, scorching hot summers and freezing cold winters, and sparse natural surroundings, the city is home to around 2,500 permanent residents. To endure the harsh weather conditions, locals have adopted a lifestyle living below ground in underground dwellings. The stone used to construct these dwellings is easily carved, providing insulation that maintains a stable temperature throughout the year, offering respite from the extremes above ground. And there you have it, 10 isolated communities from around the world. If you found this video interesting, please consider giving it a like and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to explore our other videos and subscribe to join in on the fun. Hit the notification bell icon to stay updated with our latest uploads. Until next time, keep exploring.